the ZIP-DS dressing shield protects the ZIP surgical skin closure device from damage from the adhesive border or tape associated with certain wound dressings. Apply the ZIP-DS if there is a possibility of dressing adhesive or tape contacting the ZIP device. Hold the ZIP-DS so that you can read the ZipLine Medical logo left to right. The short liner will be located at the top of the device. Remove the short liner by peeling it off of the strips. Turn the device over and begin to peel one of the strips from the liner. To finish removing the strip, grasp the strip close to the liner and slowly pull it off. Place the strip with the adhesive side facing the zip surgical skin closure device. Start at one end by overlapping the strip approximately 5 millimeters beyond the end of the zip. It's important to align the strip along the inner edge of the zip towards the incision. Do not cover the incision. It's also important to avoid stretching the strip as it is placed on the zip. Gently press the strip in place. Excess strip length may be cut with scissors. Make sure that you have five millimeters of overlap at the end of the zip. Apply the second strip in the same manner. Remember, the adhesive always faces the zip. Make sure you have five millimeters of overlap on each end of the zip. Align along the incision edge of the zip, ensuring that you are not covering the incision and do not stretch the strip as you place it on the device. Apply your wound dressing following the manufacturer's instructions for use. During dressing removal, the dressing shield strips will lift off of the zip with most island dressings, leaving the zip intact on the patient's incision. Remove the dressing slowly and ensure that the dressing is not adhered to the zip device at any point along the length of the dressing.